Hey guys, this is a weekend that I wait for all year. Asher's with me, Levi's with me, and uh, it's Spoon River Drive, which is the Central Illinois equivalent of like uh, Route 122 or Highway 46 or whatever these other guys talk about. Spoon River Drive is ours. It's yard it's sales. yard sales all over the entire count Fulton County, and uh, so I'm gonna count how many yard sales we hit, and we're gonna show you as much as we can, and we're gonna have a good time. Let's get into it. However, this sky is not super promising for yard sale. Bill one at the Legion Hall total bust other than we got some lunch to support the Legion Hall. Um, it was it was a craft sale, so it really wasn't. There was nothing that I was interested in. I guess Asher got something. What'd you get? Honey. Show the people the honey. Local honey. It's worth buying. Oops. And they dropped it on my lunch. We, uh, a couple years ago, we got snowed out on Scenic Drive. And now, yesterday, it was 85. What'd you got on your Coleman? I don't care. Whatever you give me. Kentucky. I'm jealous. What? He's moving to Kentucky. Yeah, don't mess around with a machete. That's that seems like just good advice for life in general. Cool, cool. Yeah. Um, he's cleaning up, but it's a wooden handle. That's old. So where's the five? I didn't give you a second. Five. Twenty-five. All right. So I don't know how much you guys saw of this U.S. mail. I've never seen anything like it. I like things I can't live without. Those are my favorite kind of okay. things. Okay, so come that way. Whoa, yeah, you do. Yeah. It looks much Woo. smaller from the outside. Uh huh, that's why I said come on in. There's more to the back. And with the rain, it's No, no, it's not. We're going to, it's going to, it's going to break up and it's not going to rain. You betcha. <laughs> Sealed VHS. Nope, right. my goodness. Well, we might have a drip or two here and there. <laughs> when the last, when we had that windstorm come through, one of the branches came through and broke the skylight. So we had to go up overhead to fix it. Oh, it's got one or two spots that we have to Dink the little dinosaur. Little Bill. Little Bill used to be really good. M&M flashcards. I don't need any M&M flashcards, do you? The, that's a workout video. Uh, yep. <laughs> make sure you make it pay for your stuff too. Johnson family I vacation. Because it's math. math. I can Is practice this another math. exercise video. Dad, I can practice my math with it. Okay. Well, then we'll grab it. Okay. I can. I can do it. Wait, Dad, did you skip the Batman? I did. Is that okay? All of those DBZs, you guys are going to love Dragon Ball Z. Okay. So cool! We were so busy pulling out DBZs that you didn't see this Pokemon one. An Animityville Horror. Pretty. Sailor Moon. Another Sailor Moon.
Dragon Ball GT. Ah. Oh. <laughs> These are sealed, but they're rattly like there's something wrong with them. Yeah, I think we're going to leave those. Oh, the meaning of life. I know that. Here, Levi. We're getting these two. Yeah. First North Star Gundam. I missed these. There's more. We'll go take them over to the pile. Yep. Over by the lady that's here. Oh jeez. Yep. Alright. Right. They're 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 like the rest of it is just decorative glass. You got a huge bag full of random McDonald's toy action figures. Well not yeah. McDonald's. And Ooh. some flashcards. We actually did find a Ooh. The dollar. Oh yeah, the GoBots book is cool. These are cool. And if we found a GoBot toy, would we get it? 1968. I thought about getting a Power Ranger. I don't know if you can hear that it is pouring rain, so we might have to give up the ghost here shortly. The goal is to find something over 30 bucks, and I, I did do that. Cool. 35 bucks. That, I know, yeah, we think that this elephant might comp for 35, 35 bucks. Here, I'll grab it so you guys can see it. It's an elephant. And I found it. It did get ringed on. from 2000. Well, it's just a little bit wet. It ain't gonna hurt nothing. Asher found a Teletubby at the last sale. That wasn't this sale. This lady did the thing that drives me nuts, and you guys, maybe you deal with it too. She was explaining to me how everything that I was picking up, I didn't want to buy because it was old. She's like, oh, that's old and expensive. You don't want to buy it. I'm like, but, but what do you assume that I'm here for? I'm not here because I want to buy cheap dollar store stuff that I could buy every day. I don't get that. But whatever. She was right because her FIFA was like $10, which there's no meat on the bone at $10. Shell toes for three bucks. And not so, for sale Pokemon. And is. some Pokemon. Asher, tell the story, Asher. You picked those up and carried them away, right? what it pays to be honest right yeah all right cool which sale is this this is six is this sale number six it's because people keep giving you stuff for free it's easy to not spend much money when you're cute oh. her dogs you yeah. barking at and so she's. Ooh. Hey, Dad. Why is there coins in here? Settle down. Probably there. Hello. Hello. Hi. Probably there. This one is seven. The last one was a bus. We'll have to tell you the story about that. But I didn't punch anybody, so that's good. Except I just punched it. Ooh. 40 bucks? That's not a terrible price for that. Ooh, that's a fanny pack for that has a beer label on it. No, we were not. Hey, Dad, what is this? A wig Mom, to Mom, put on your head and make you look like that. Old farmers never die. They just wet their plants. <laughs> huh? What does that even mean? I don't know exactly. It's silly. Is this Numa brand? Numa Candelabra. Hey dad, Six for two bucks. If we get hot, we can get that. No, put that down. Okay. But I think today Old we get cold receptacles. more than hot. Yeah. What is this? Flannel. 
Carhartt is probably really expensive. Ten bucks. Hmm. So the first couple of sales were really good. Uh, so far, it's been a handful of garbage sales in a row. Stuff that's just like eBay prices um, and stuff nobody wants. And Asher picked up a plastic Furby Happy Meal toy. And this old lady yelled at him. And I said, come on, we're leaving all this junk's overpriced anyway. And they're like, what? And I was like, this is stupid, we're leaving. And she said, bye. And I said, I hope you have a really good day. And I didn't cuss at her, but I was very aggressive in my hope you have a good day. This is a what $7 worth of stuff looks like. Jurassic Park, a new with tag, Nike book bag. And then she's like, this is just a mishmash of uh, Wii stuff. And well, a complete inbox of uh, Mario Kart and a the cardboard pack-in version of sports resorts, or no, just regular Wii Sports. So for, and she's like, it's five bucks. So I made all like a bandit on that one. So lunch kind of sucked. So we're at Burger King drive-thru just getting a little bit of something else. These boys got some toys that they're excited about. We went into Goodwill to stave off the rain and now it's not raining anymore. But at Goodwill, we found this biter lock blanket for five bucks and this Tyvek uh, NASCAR Jeff Gordon jacket, new with tags for five bucks. Both of these things, they were pushing a new material cart out of the back and I just grabbed them off the back while they're rolling. I'm like, yes, and the other cart, yes. Um, and then I think we got one other, we got a, another Majestics Cubs. Uh, I say another because I sold one today, but for 40 bucks. And we got that for five bucks. Now we're gonna eat some lunch, maybe hit a couple more sales. That was our Spoon River Drive experience this year. I wouldn't say those are the highlights necessarily, but they are the things I was able to record. Um, we did find one more sale on the way home and it was raining and I was able to pick up this, which is not for sale. I paid $3 for it and the box was wet uh, because it was raining and the lady had the yard sale still going in the rain. And um, I'm excited to have it. I think it's about a $40 piece that I picked up for three bucks. From her, I paid $20 for everything. I got this lamp. I got four of these broom holders and they're all antique. Notice that phone number is a four digit phone number. So that puts them probably somewhere in the 20s. And then the, uh, what was the other thing? Oh, these Ford Fairlane parts that came. These are original factory and they've been pulled off and they're in the box for the chrome replacements. So they're pretty cool. And I think they're worth quite a bit of money for the right person. But I paid five bucks for, or I paid, I paid like five bucks for them. I paid $20 for everything. This is kind of neat. See you in the next one.